In this episode, I jump from Coimbra to Mirror Beach. Okay guys, just getting ready to go now. This is the room I had for 13 euros. Uh, it's a room with a view as well. So, um, yeah, uh, the landlady's here, so I can't show you the kitchen, but basically I was the only person here last night. <laughs> There's a lounge. Another room. Uh, that was my bathroom, so. Fantastic value for money. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm hitting the road, leaving Coimbra. Welcome back, guys. Uh, just had breakfast at Audi. I'm still in Coimbra and just about to head off to the next section. Um, we had some croissants here and I've left a kind of fishy taste in my mouth. Oh, they're queuing up to get in now. Okay guys, so yeah, I'm heading off and um, not sure how far I'm going to go today, but uh, yeah, we'll see. Interested to see how the new tyre performs. Welcome back folks. So I'm on quite a busy road here, as you can probably see. I suspected it would be busy because there's quite a lot of prostitutes sitting back a few kilometers on the side of the road uh, so obviously there's a lot of traffic along here I'm not sure how they practice social distancing in this day and age but um, anyway uh, <laughs> so if a few kilometers out of Cumbria now quite not windy today but quite muggy and I've got a bit of climbing ahead so better push on Okay, on a much quieter road now, um, but it's nice and wide still, so there's a few cars, but uh, yeah, it's war. It's uh, kind of humid today, it's not like hot, hot, but um, yeah, this jacket, I don't know, might have to put a t-shirt on soon, <laughs> but um, yeah, anyway, I continue. Welcome back, guys. It's a lovely pine forest here. Here. Yeah. This road's really, it's quite busy still, but I've almost got my own lane here, so um, I'm just struggling a bit today. I don't know if it's the humidity or the new tyre, but when I go up any hill now, I almost, I almost feel like I've lost my lowest gear. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm having to go into the lowest gear much earlier, much sooner than normal, and I can only put it down to the tyre, so... Um, maybe I'll pump it up a bit more on, I mean it's fine, but, you know, it's just going to be frustrating if I have to put more effort in to get up hills. <laughs> I've just been enjoying my lunch here, so, apple, banana, mini tomatoes, coleslaw, chicken, bread, pretty healthy really. Uh, oh, and uh, some cookies as well. Got to keep those energy levels up. <laughs> G'day folks, welcome back. So, very different environment I find myself in now. I'm very near to the coast. So yeah, cycled down from Coimbra today. It's not been that far and it's been quite flat, but um, I don't know why, but I'm just, uh, I've just been really tired today. It's been like a struggle. I was kind of blaming the, the thicker tyre earlier, but I, I, I think it's more that um, I'm just tired today. But anyway, I don't have too far. I'm going to probably end up camping around here somewhere. So anyway, yeah, it looks very nice. I'm glad I've came. Finally back at the ocean. Well, it took a lot longer to get here than I thought because I thought the coast was closer. <laughs> and this place though was lovely until I got to the centre here. This is like Great Yarmouth. Uh, if you don't know what Great Yarmouth is like, Google it. <laughs> um, 
but obviously the beach is really nice and uh, serious waves out there too but I'm not going to stay too long in this area I found um, found somewhere to camp a few kilometers inland uh, so all good yeah this is um, Praia de Mera and it's nice when you look this way but that way it's not so nice <laughs> it's like it's a blue flag beach though good evening guys welcome back so I found myself um, a camp spot here as you can hear it's a little close to the road but there's not much room here because there's a kind of road through there but um, the the traffic's going to die down soon and uh, it doesn't bother me the noise anyway it's quite reassuring sometimes anyway I'm going to um, finish putting my tent up <sighs> welcome back guys Ooh. It's really humid tonight. <laughs> I'm not going to be sleeping in many layers, that's for sure. Phew. Good morning, people. So, just enjoy my, my cold shaking coffee, which tastes much nicer than it looks in that kind of manky <laughs> plastic bottle. So, I'm all packed up. Um, very comfortable last night. Uh, no trace of course There's the rest of my stuff to put on the bike um, very peaceful here and I wasn't bothered by anything or anyone but uh, the road was in an ideal world it was quite busy even late at night but I slept really well and um, just saw a red squirrel as well so that's <laughs> quite cute but uh, yeah all good I'm gonna push on soon get some brekkie and then um, hit the road about to be overtaken. Lovely cycle path near to where I camped last night. The uh, the uh, <laughs> I bet their bikes cost more than 169 euros. <laughs> but have they travelled three quarters of the country? Probably. Probably will today, in one day. <laughs> so I was hoping they would have some fresh bread and croissants, but they don't. Got these um, brioche croissants and they're not very nice. But it's all fuel for the bike, for the legs, so. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So leaving Praia de Mira now and heading towards Aveiro, which is um, meant to be really nice. It's about 25 kilometers away, um, but I'll go beyond that today. Not sure where I'm going to end up tonight, but um, I'm basically going to be one day uh, from Porto. So tomorrow I could probably get to Porto. And then I have to decide really uh, you know what I'm going to do about this trip whether I'm going to um, continue or whether I'm going to sell the bike and uh, fly to France or yeah I'll just have to see I'm kind of the, the problem with Spain is so mountainous <laughs> um, there's also talk that the border might not even open on the 1st of July so um, you know I part of me just thinks I've kind of had my time in Portugal now and I'm ready to to move on and Spain's so huge big country to cycle across I mean there is a possibility I could take a train some of the way um, but it wouldn't be a continuous journey then but at least I could cycle a bit in France so that's an option but um, anyway I just thought I'd keep you up to date with what's going on and uh, I'd better get on my way <laughs> 